So you want to run an Airbnb business, but you don't want to spend a ton of time messaging your guests and having to keep everything straight? Well, then today's video is for you. Today, we are going to talk about all things automated messaging, what it is, what it does, and what it doesn't do. Be sure to stay tuned until the very end because I'm going to show you my exact messaging templates that you can copy and paste and use for your Airbnb business. What automated messaging is, it is a way for you to communicate with your guests anytime they book a place. You can send them a confirmation. You can send them check-in instructions. You can check in to see how things are going. And then you can send them check out instructions. The great thing about automated messaging is that you can customize it. You can tell your system system, when to send the message, you can create the template to send, and you can even set rules where if a person checks in at a certain time, maybe they don't get a certain message or any other customizations that you might need for your specific situation. So that's the basic elements of automated messaging. You're going to need to use a specific software that does this, and there are a few out there on the market. I use Guesty for hosts. There are also other platforms, and you can even even use the Airbnb platform to set up automated messages. I don't recommend using the Airbnb platform to set these up because it doesn't allow you as much customization as a third party software will do. And each of the platforms that are out there have their various pros and cons. And if that's a video that you would like me to do, then just let me know down in the comments. But for now, we're just going to stick with Guesty for Host because that is what I use. Okay, so by now you know that it will automatically send your guests messages when you tell it. Now, what it doesn't do is send messages to guests when they ask you a question through the app through which they booked. However, with the advent of artificial intelligence, some of these platforms are now integrating AI and are generating draft messages to inquiries like that. And they will send it to you as the host to say, hey, I came up with this response. Is it okay to send? And you can hit yes. Currently, Guesty does not have this this capability, but there are some other platforms that do. However, I will note I have seen demonstrations of these systems that integrate AI and they're pretty good, but they're definitely not perfect. So it's not something that you can rely on 100% of the time. So you are still going to have to pay attention to your platform, whether you use Airbnb or VRBO to catch those incoming messages that come from guests that your automated messaging is not going to reply to. Okay, so now let's get into the exact messages that I use for my Airbnb business. The first message that I send is the check-in confirmation, and that is what I title it in my Guesty for Host platform. And it includes the following, the name of the guests, the number of guests that are part of the reservation, whether or not they have pets. And I do make an inquiry to say, we welcome pets. So if you are bringing them, please indicate that in your reservation. And by the way, we do charge an additional fee for pets. And that has been really great because it has caused I would say maybe about half or so of the guests who are bringing pets and just didn't know to indicate it in their reservation. So it's a great way to make sure that you are capturing that. And then I let them know that their check-in instructions will be coming the evening before. And then I also include a guidebook that I put together using a template that I bought off of Etsy. And it is a Canva template. It's super beautiful. I'll include an image of that here in the screen so you can see what that looks like. And this is just information for them to use in advance to help plan their trip. I include things like local restaurants, bars, things to do, other things in the area that they might want to do so that they can have everything at their fingertips. And the way that I do this is I load it into a Google Drive folder and then I create a shorter link like a tiny link or a bit.ly link and then I copy and paste that into that confirmation message. Okay, so that's the first message that my guests get. They get it immediately upon making their reservation and the great thing about it is that with my property management software, which is Guesty, it links pretty immediately with Airbnb. So it, it recognizes within seconds usually that I'll get a booking and then it will automatically send that message. With Verbo, it can take 
a few minutes, sometimes even an hour or two for the Verbo system to communicate with Guesty or vice versa and then to send that message out. The second message are the check-in instructions. And here I just include the general location of the home because the actual address is in the app. And the reason that I don't include the specific address is because if a guest cancels after they have received the check-in instructions, but before they check in, then my address is just out there. So I don't want that. I only keep the address within the app. That way, if they cancel, they don't have access to that information. Plus, it's a lot harder for them to forward that information to other people by keeping it just in the app. So I let them know the general location and then to find a specific address within the app. I let them know any sort of instructions for how to gain access to parking or to the front door. So for a couple of my properties, I have off site parking and I give them directions to that. I also include, well, within the app and the check-in instructions, I include photos, but I tell them the, the general location of the offsite parking, or if it's just street parking, any information about street sweeping when they might need to move their car. And then that's pretty much it. Okay, the third message is probably the most important message and it has saved me from getting bad reviews at times. And I think it is a really nice touch that you can give to your guests to show that you really care about their experience and it's an opportunity for them to give you any feedback ahead of time. And this message checks in on their stay. It arrives at nine o'clock the morning after they have checked in. So they have slept a night in the home and I just ask them how it's going. If they have any feedback and that our goal is to maintain super host status and to provide for all of their needs. So if they have any feedback that they would like to give to us to please give it to us then. And a few times I have gotten uh, a couple of pieces of feedback, but I would say for the most part, people say, nope, everything's great. And then I just manually reply, okay, great, enjoy your stay. Let me know if anything comes up. So that is the third automated message that I think is the most important for you to do as a host. The fourth message are is just the checkout instructions. And it's pretty simple. I do not have my guests do a lot of cleanup before they check out. I think that's unnecessary. They pay for an experience. I pay my cleaner to clean. So I just say, hey, if there's any trash around the home, just place that in the inside trash bins, pack up all of your belongings and then lock the door on the way out. I do not have them wash dishes. I do not have them strip the beds, wash linens or do anything like that because I just, I don't think it's fair. And two, it is against Airbnb's policy to do any sort of onerous checkout instructions and, and cleanup. So I just keep it very simple and that's pretty much it. Now, just because your messages are automated, that doesn't mean that you can turn off your brain and not pay attention to communication that is coming in from your guests. I learned this one the hard way. Actually, this was a couple of weeks ago where on accident, I I, I missed a message at night and it was after midnight. So it wasn't, I'm, I'm not gonna say not my fault, but um, it, I was not paying attention to my phone, I was asleep. And a guest was locked out and wound up having to sleep in a hotel and it was just a big ordeal. And I got a really negative review based on that. But you know, that sort of extreme example aside, pay attention to your phone or your email to see when ever a guest messages you and you need to respond within minutes. Just because you have automated messaging, that is not an excuse to turn off your brain or to not pay attention because things happen, guests have inquiries and you want to be responsive. And guess what? You are rated on communication, at least within the Airbnb app. So the more responsive you are, the more proactive you are with communication, the better reviews you are going to get from your guests. So that's it. That is automated messaging. I hope that you found this helpful. Let me know if there's anything else about automation that you want to know because I have my entire business completely automated so that I'm spending maybe five to 15 minutes each day running my business and it works pretty seamlessly. If you are looking to become an Airbnb host, check the links down below in the description box. I do have a referral code to become an Airbnb host and I would be happy to give you feedback on your listing. I also have links down below to all of my favorite items to furnish an Airbnb and these are room by room recommendations for items that I have personally used and love. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.